Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to Airships. Um, I'm a bit conscious that we have these two big empires here, three big empires, and we haven't grown for a little bit because I've been faffing around. So really to me that tells me I need to crack on with some invasions. So I'm going to set up that now. I have a few ships which are just kind of... Actually, you know what? I want this one to come up as well. Uh, it can follow up as a reserve. I've got a few ships bimbling around. Uh, there's some here. Now uh, there's like there's one coming over to join this little group and there's one reasonable sized fleet here and a little bit more here and that's all well and good but we have some heavy tech we need to deploy and I want to do that via the means of building a ship so yeah, I want to have a look. We've got our beautiful bumblebee with its uh, cannon on the front. That's that's okay. But what I want to do is to use these different modules. So I want to use something a little bit more substantial. I want to use the bit, the same basic design. Um, so I do want to have something uh, with these large lift items on them, but I want a lot of rockets. So I'm kind of tempted to do like this to be like an upgraded bumblebee tail because that would be that would be awesome. Does it actually need to? I don't think it does. That's probably fine. Look, it already goes to 940 meters all on its own. But what we do want are rockets. So we've got these things that we could use massive rockets, but they're really terrible. And then we've got little rockets, which look, the difference, if I put this here versus that, oh, uh, that, no, that, I mean, that's like a 10% a increase in damage, 9 meters versus something of splash on it, 5 meters. Uh, I don't know, it's, you know, mm, it's even actually less accurate, less range, I think. So that is terrible. So we do want to use rockets like this. And I think they're going to be very helpful for tearing down stuff. Now, I was hoping to get into uh, flamethrowers, but I just don't have uh, the flamethrower ready equipment yet. So we're going to do this. In fact, what I need to do really first is to find my resources, because these will chew through quite a bit of ammunition. Uh, is what I'm particularly conscious of. Uh, and I'm also conscious of is the overlays, which show explosion damage. Yeah, that's quite extreme. Um, can I just move this over a little bit to separate out uh, the explodingness of things? I'm wondering, can I get a fire door? Could I run... Like, fire doors are very heavy. I'm quite conscious of that. Like, they're 20 weight compared to corridor with a ladder. But I do want to uh, just sort of uh, experiment a little bit. So we've got these. If, th if this goes up, you know, if, if the ammunition goes up, we've got bigger problems than, um, yeah, than just the lack of... Uh, the lack of fire doors or anything that's going to explode badly and everything will go horribly wrong and that's that's just going to be normal so a fire point there seems sensible i what would it take if we had a i'm just having a look at command and control how how long would a cockpit take to turn this ship around oh not that a uh, co a cockpit oh it needs a it needs a bridge Uh, it says no bridge. Oh, okay. Well, what if we put a berth on it? Would that calm it down? No, perhaps it needs a bridge due to reasons I don't understand. So it would be like that. Okay, I don't know. It's still... It still claims we need other stuff. Okay, I'll put that there. So that would be a three-second turnaround. I don't know if it needs that much. I really don't. I do want to be cheap. Being cheap is highly... 14 seconds. Would that be a problem? Mm. Oh, crow's nest for the aiming. Yeah, I think that actually would be a problem. If I put in a bridge as well as a cockpit, so we got like the, the shooting range there. Three seconds makes it pretty nimble. I don't mind that too much. So I quite like the idea that it, it kind of... the, the B thing part of it is now pretty 
Not pretty big. Do I want sails or set? Okay, let's uh, put that up there for now. Let's see if would a sail be? No, that's weird. Would that look crazy? I actually don't mind that. That actually kind of looks quite cute. And I could do something down here that would be the double of it. Yeah, I like that idea. I'm I'm getting I'm getting my design juices juicing. Uh, except what I would want to do is actually explosion damage is not on there for the sail, so I could slap a sail just straight down here. 130k, 167 meters. It's not perfect, but we are going for a kind of robust uh, shapeliness, aren't we, to our designs. So I also think maybe if that was up there, I could put corridors through the middle so that if it blew up, it wouldn't. Uh, again, fire door, maybe? Would it matter if they couldn't get up and down here? That's the other question I have. Could I... So, I'm kind of wondering... Like, what would the explosion damage look like now? Well, bad for the back, but for the front... Kind of okay, like that. That, to me, with stuff here and here, means I could potentially put some uh, struts. So these struts are three and they weigh two compared to wait for well why not let's put some struts down here give it that kind of bug like body look so repair bay does seem sensible on a ship this size and expense um, <laughs> it'll be under something probably under here somewhere hmm, I actually I quite like this I must admit I do quite enjoy this this general look would I want to put the bridge down here? Oh, we got no crew. That's not good. Yes, we do need to fix that. So, quarters. I'm trying to think where I want. Like, I don't need that many more people. So, let me have a look. Command and crew. Now, the quarters is for 12. Whereas the berth is for, what is it, three. Um, no, that won't work because they're in the wrong place. Oh, that's a little annoying. I could put one, I could put one here. And then one down here. I mean, that is a touch wasteful. It gets us to enough crew. Oh, actually, recommended crew is now 30. Oh, I'm totally missing that. Okay, so I do actually just need to put down our quarters. And I still need a berth at least. So, 30 and 33. I think a few extra crew is usually a good idea. You're going to lose a couple. And I am broadly okay with this. This is actually, it's going to have some issues. 159 meters ceiling is not going up very far or very fast and up there things aren't connected hmm that is annoying is it oh, is it because it only connects laterally in that case no oh, see that just doesn't work how frustrating uh, what if we put you over here and then we put the yeah put the fire point in hopefully not too far away from anything okay so that works there and then this one can come down at the bottom yeah that works I'm, I'm pretty confident except there's no supply and again ah oh, well we're, just, we're gonna have to fill in this one here with a supply steel supply hatch and another one no, oh, yeah, okay, still supply hatch and a berth. Where were you? Oh, I said you were 30. No, I think I do want one more. 
service ceiling 160 meters, 157 meters. It's not too bad, is it? Could I put on a little bit more lift? Could I just shove? No, I can't put it there. I, I, I could put like a weird little little dung beetle thing at the bottom kind of thing. Um, and then I could put that hasn't gone on top. I don't know. I like the idea of the uh, extra. Okay, I'm gonna put this here like this. Put the front one on. Let's see how that makes me feel. It it doesn't exactly thrill me. But it does give me a lot better flexibility here. Five second turnaround is okay. The crew is plenty. Supply is fine. Armor um, is that nice cheap steel wall. And I think it's time to give it a little shape. So this rocket boat, I think, will do a, a pretty excellent job. A lion figurehead, would that look good there? Not really. Well... That's not what I intended, game. So we'll go back to modules here. So I think we'll have a little fiddle with this for a second. What do we got? So I do quite like the Kraken. I think we'll give that give that a little go. So I've actually So I've actually had a little bit of a realization, and that is, thinking about it, that, you know, oh, I'm going to put that over there, that, that rockets have an amazing kind of uh, sort of uh, field of view, field arc of fire, which means they can be very high, target stuff below them. That makes me think what I really want to do is give this thing, give this thing a lot of height. So I'm going to, oh, uh, do we need a crow's nest, really? I don't know. We're going to put that up there for now. Uh, I want to give this thing a lot of a lot of height. So if we were to go like this, what kind of heights would we end up with? I mean, yes, if it gets hit, it's going to go up. But it's kind of cheap. 300, 200 meters. I don't know. I sort of... I... I... I mm, it, they're starting to feel a little ridiculous. Could I... Could I do something like this? Could I stack together... No, not like that. Oh, it actually... Hmm. It's kind of annoying. I'm trying to create that real bug uh, body look. And I can't do it sort of symmetrically. Which is what I had, what I had hoped. So I can do it like that. And then stick on two little little tail feathers, or th you know three essentially. But oh, and that that well, let me do that. That is annoying. I'm grumpy now. What if I I do it like my own way? Oh, again. All right. So that that was kind of lame. So we do want the large one on the back, but maybe I could just extend these a little, a little bit further and uh, come up with some design which feels bug-like, which has sort of been the theme so far. 230 service ceiling. At this point in the game, perhaps that's enough. You know, perhaps that that is enough. I do, I'm pretty sure I need uh, crow's nest just because otherwise they're going to be uh, really, really terrible shots for those rockets. No, I don't mind that being a little bit up there. That seems okay to me. Uh, structure. I can't use outside deck or ladders. Like, I'm pretty sure that won't provide... Like a steel deck. Yeah, so it's not going to provide access, which is kind of a shame. I wish there was like a gangways you could use. That would be my one request. Things like gangway so you can climb the rigging, so to speak. Mm, I like, I do like this. Yeah, I, I do quite like it. So let's fill with this color and then consider some stripes, perhaps. 
It's looking pretty sound, if you ask me. Let's have a look. Hit points. Yeah, I mean, it's weak. It's going to explode. Water reaches most places it matters. Repair reaches most places it matters. Ammunition is solidly around there. There's no coal. Explosion damage. Yeah, that's not too bad to me. Like, it's not... I'm just hoping explosion doesn't, doesn't travel through there. It shouldn't travel that far. And these guys here are pretty robust. They're going to go up. That's fine. But if these go up, we aren't, we aren't losing command at that point. That command's up there. Okay, so... I'm pretty happy with that. I do think I want to move that uh, cracker down or up. That's one thing I do want to fix. So let's fix that up. All right, just crack in. Give me, give me the crack in. Where are you? Uh, let's just try that. <laughs> double crack in. No, I think double crack in would be a bad idea. So we'll get rid of that one. And. Uh, Coat of arms. I'm inclined for a coat of arms this time. The sterilizer. It's not going to be the sterilizer. We're going to have to fix that up. And... And maybe a large mouth, even. Ah, it's looking a little over the top right now. Let's have a little fiddle. No. There we go. So I think we'll shove a shape in there just to round it off and call ourselves done. I might give us a couple of round lanterns down here just because I generally quite like that look. So 950, three lots of rockets. It's got a reasonable service ceiling. It's reasonably slow. It takes a bunch of supply. Not, I mean, it's not amazing, but it's pretty fun if you ask me. So I think we're going to save this design. Now uh, we need to give it something else. Uh, glow bug. I think it looks like a glow bug to me. And we're going to build at least a couple of them here. I think they're going to back up our other ships really nicely. I think they're going to really provide a great deal of uh, excellent glow bug. What does auto save and auto save do? Okay, strange game. Get a couple of those going here. And I think over here as well. And build two of them so we've got now a pretty good pile of ships coming oh a revolution that is going to be a perfect time for us to go in with this fleet maybe oh yes okay so here's our here's our little bomber fleet here um very low ceiling on these guys these guys are fine what are we facing now nah, that should be all right that should be just fine so we'll start that you guys get up and you guys just come forward. So light is from the west. Right to left is left ac less accurate, so that's fine. They're going to pink and plonk them, but really it's these guys we're waiting for. Don't get yourself too hurt. They seem to be hitting reasonably, so I'm not going to change their variety of fire there. All right, come on. Oh. Just come forward. Yeah, oh gosh, out of the way. Good. Uh, I want to move you then back a little bit if they're, if they're taking us out that easily. Let's move you. Okay, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Thought you'd be a bit slower or faster getting over. Armor's gone. That's fine. You don't have much to start with. So let's move you slightly, slightly forward. Let's have a look at the outside view. I like how much our lights are lighting up the craft. It's pretty cool. And these ones happily bombing away. Speed up. You go you don't have any fire protection, so you're kind of stuffed. Don't worry about it. And they've surrendered. Excellent. And I think we can just go for a gentle takeover. Yeah, we lost one bumblebee, but that's fine. So do that. And you are coming up. You move here, actually. And I want one of you. At least. Oh, I think we'll probably take a couple of you. Uh, just take. Oh, maybe we'll take a glow bug with us. 
Move up here too. Oh, okay, we've got Marines. So we've got Marines, which means we can do invading. Um, but I don't really want to do invading without Harpoons or the area, without Aerial Hussars. I do like the Aerial Hussars. They are great fun. They look amazing. But, and I've just realized we don't even have propellers yet, really. And that's fine. But what are we going to go with? I think it's going to be Aerial Hussars. I know, I, I promised a pretty hard building or bunker of some kind, I do recall. But I'm just going to go with this for now. Oh, actually, who? We, we have too big a fleet. Our fleet is massive. I think we're going to have to do some uh, rationalizing through loss. We've just grown too much. So why don't we leave one of you, actually, yeah, you behind, and invade over, invade over here. Let's see what we can do to Dentata. And they're busy squabbling, so we can we can mop up. Oh, that actually looks like a, almost like an upgraded version. No, I think we'll be okay. There's two different designs there. So, we got three of those there. Um, I'm, I'm sort of okay with these like this. Like, I don't want them too close together. Let's have a look. So, you guys just go straight up here. And I know you're very slow. What's your move range like? Oh, not too bad. But we're going to give everyone else, we're going to aim fire with you. And just let everyone get out, else get out of the way. And here come the rockets. Oh, well, you've undergrounded that one. That's okay, I suppose. All right. They're not, not too terrible. I do feel maybe if you're a little bit closer, you might be a little happier. So we'll get you up here. And reasonably quick moving with those sails. And you look frankly amazing. I think we can all agree on that. And those bombs and that are everything everything we want. Fire? Why are you on fire? Put out put out the, the water's doing it. Go on lads, get up there and put the cockpit out before it spreads. Alright, you're okay, you're you're fine. Doing your job, doing your job. And how are these other bombers? They're just perfect really. So we need them to just shuffle along a little bit so the second bomb or the third bomber can even play a part. Right now, it can't even do that. Uh, can you get down there without being silly? You can. Good. And the cannon shots are still coming in. The rockets are coming in. Really plowing. This is successful. I think Glowbug successful design. It could do it with a bit more glowing on it, I suppose. Maybe I'll go in and add a little light to its tail or something. That would be cool. These guys are low on ammo, that's fine as well. And this is pretty much game over. Game over for these guys, we've captured their territory. Yeah, no problem whatsoever. Perfect, perfectly done. So, glow bugs and everything are having a great time. We'll leave uh, one of the bumblebees behind and move on to the next province because we need to make money. We're losing money otherwise, we're too big. Uh, we could definitely also take these guys over to... Yeah, we'll go over here and invade. Just crack on. Uh, okay, so we got this... Oh, uh, activate? Well, what were you... Oh, you... <laughs> you can't fly? Your service ceiling is too... Okay, so your service ceiling... Are you back in reserves? It's too low to be able to fly. That's adorable. I love it. Okay, what are we even facing? Some buildings, no problem. Get up over there. We might face lightning, which I suspect would be bad for us. Okay, you uh, will need to move over here. And in fact, one of the things we can do very easily is... Oh, we've already won. Great. And again, gentle takeover. Do we have more than one here? I feel like we need to send something else up to this location. Oh, okay, so we've got another battle. One single tower. We've got a bunch of our chaps here. Um, in hill formation. Okay, so you just come straight up here. And these guys are not... Okay, we're just going to put them on aim fire. Oh, he already went. That's fine. 
Okay, so there's a fleet coming to one of our cities. Gentle takeover. What? Where's gone and left? Ah, oh, these guys. Ah, oh, there's a ship there as well. Ah, oh, damn them. Uh, we're going to have to reinvade, of course, but I don't want to abandon these places before we get defenses up. So if we left behind two of them, could we invade? Recapture that. Over here, these ships are all doing fine. They can just stay there. And there's a battle here. Oh, okay. Uh, I suspect that this is going to be just game over for you. There's Well, there's one defensive building. Fine. And you should aim shot. That's fine. <laughs> oh no, we know these are not going to survive. They're not going to survive at all. Yeah, he's already gone. Fine. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, uh, we get that. And uh, we should... Okay, what are these guys? Are they ready for orders? Great. Get them moving. And these little... Little glow bugs can just come in as fast and far as you can that way. That might almost be outside of what the cannon is capable of hitting on the fort, but we'll find out in a second. Yeah, they gave up. They totally gave up. Victory, gentle takeover. Good, good, good. So now, you lot, no more revolting. That is not acceptable around here. Do we have ships moving? That's what I want to know. Um, no, actually, I think we want all of these up there. And then over here, we're gentle takeovering all over the show. And this fleet, I wonder what it is. I'm going to send a spy in. What are these? I like the design. The design is cool. They're kind of expensive. But they don't look that tough. They, they honestly, they don't look that tough at all. A little bit tougher than this fleet. I will admit. So let's go here for starters. Uh, pull some of our ships together. And maybe push back on Trixie pretty hard. So what do I want to leave behind? And I want to leave behind a couple of those and one of those. Move to there. Come over to Trixie. Um... We've got one ship there, we've got one ship there, and then we've got these guys. Uh, we don't need that broken one. We can just keep moving up there. Oh! Uh, do we want to intercept? No, we do not. I think we're just going to have to wait and see what comes of that fight. It looks like they're coming in to fight us. Oh, which fight's going to be first? This one. All right, two forts. We know what to do about that. We've almost got too many bombers. And it won't be able to fit over this place. And then we've got these guys. Aim fire. As, oh, just surrendered. Saw what was going to happen. Gave up. And what's this one here? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow, we are going to have a very hard time um, I'm going to start but I'm going to tell these guys to move as fast as possible and flip this way oh no oh my gosh oh no <laughs> oh dear we face a powerful opponent let's cover ourselves in glory that's what I call it um that, those are seven gun... That's a total of seven guns plus bullets. That's a pretty fierce... That's a pretty fierce force. Like bombers above them would probably finish them off. But there's no way we're getting out of that one. What are you doing, Fortress? Not, not well is what you're doing. Are you even... Like, we're putting some holes in them, but nothing significant. There's no significant damage there. I think that's basically it. These guys are still... Nope, they're out of ammo. Well, they lost their ammo. And yeah, we've... That's... That's defeat. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I think we need to move everyone back here. 
And uh, what are our defenses like here? Yes, we need some defenses. Uh, what else could we put down? Though that is not going to be useful. That is not going to be useful at all. Uh, okay, lost bumblebee. Yes, we lost those bumblebees. It is dragging on. I should stop now. We are going to have to fix. Here we go. We're going to have to see this battle in the next episode. I hope you'll join me until then. I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. Good night. <laughs>